what that is. It might be a half dime. I don't think that's what that is. Oh yeah, it's a seated. I got something big around in this hole. Right there. Let's see what it is. Oh, no doubt. It's a cut real. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I can't believe it. Oh, that's the third piece out here today. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna keep going. Well, guys, um, I'm in Wisconsin at the farm. It's built in 1895. Um, I'm out here between the corn rows. Never had an opportunity to do in the uh, fields before. During the winter time, it's frozen solid and you can't do anything. It's a little dry, but um, as long as I stay in between the corn rows, it should be fine. Well guys, down in that hole, you can see how dry it is. It's been pretty dry here. But, a little bit tough digging, but there's some piece of a farm implement. It's a horse ring, I think. It's a big old one too. Get a good signal. Alright guys, it's pretty windy. But look, right here on top of the ground, it's like a toe tap. Yep, that's what that is. I didn't expect to find one of those out here. It's all been up and plowed many times, but uh, that's, a, that's my first good find. I like it. Well, down in that hole, it's like a uh, piece of a saddle rivet, which is a farm, so there'll be a lot of this out here. Alright guys, walking these fields, not a ton of finds, but it's an old chain. It's pretty old looking. Piece of a farm implement, I'm sure. Well guys, I've been all around in these fields. Not a lot of signals, which I didn't think there would be, but I'm just pulling around. But I think I've got an old coin in here. Let's see, right there. Let's see what it is. Not exactly sure what that is. I don't even recognize it. I have to be careful with that and clean it up. I don't recognize exactly what that is. It might be, uh, you can tell. <laughs> I'm having a hard time recognizing that. So I'll check it out when I, uh, Get in the uh, sunlight. There's a head on it right there. Well, I'm not sure what that is. Definitely, I think it's just a token. It's got words on the back of it right there. See, a bunch of words. That's small. It's like a nickel, nickel size. So. That's why I don't recognize it. It does have a bust on the front of it. It looks like it's got a... I'm not sure. Alright, well I'll just, I'll just see if I can get a good picture of it. Maybe shine a flashlight on it. It's a pretty cool find though. Alright guys, I just went all around this cornfield. Then back up here close to the road. See this rise right here? But uh, there's a coin down in here. It's right there. Right there. Um, it's like another old coin. Indian head. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what that is. Oh, it's in good shape too. Let's see if I can rub some of the dirt off of it. Well, I don't want to damage it, but uh, looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's got some great green patina on there. 
I'll clean it up. I'll show you later. It's Indian head. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. See right here. I'm getting pottery in here. It's a piece of a plate. I picked up some more of it earlier and a piece of crockery and a piece of pink glass. So I'm not ready to say there was definitely a structure here at one time. But I'm not sure how close to the road it was because there's a major highway right over there. And uh, I'm kind of up on that hill. Actually, it looks like it goes up some more. So let's see what we can find. Wow, guys, I came over another row where I found that pottery. And look, I think it's a pistol ball. Fired, it's flattened on one side. Yep, it's flattened right there. I'm pretty sure that's a pistol ball. Sorry, I'm using my iPhone, so it's probably really blurry. Unless we get a lot of light on it. Anyway, I guess I'll back it up a little bit. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, right on top of the ground. A little decorative piece of brass. Alright guys, right down in this hole. I'm not sure what it is. You can see it. Right there. It's really hard to dig in this dirt. But, well, I don't know what that is. It's kind of big too. Huh. See if I can get out, get it out of there without. Hmm. All right, let me see if I can get it out. Oops. All right, guys, right there. Look, it's like a clock gear. Oh yeah, another sign of domestic life right in here. So that's cool. All right, guys, barely under the ground right here. Something very interesting. Look at that. I don't know what it is. It's a button of some sort. Oh yeah, some kind of square button. See, there was a shank right there on the back, and a wire shank. Oh, that's pretty neat. Wow, guys, check this out. Is this some kind of big spindle whirl? That's lead. Old. It's got a hole right through the middle. That's pretty cool. I think that might be what that is. It's huge though, it's bigger than the ones I find down, uh, down in Charleston. Alright guys, barely on the ground right there. Look at that, another toe tap. Oh, that one's in good shape too. Alright guys, right down and well in that hole. Looks like a little two-piece cuff button or something. Look at that, oh that's tiny. I'm not going to mess with that too much here. Oops, can't see it. There it is. A little tiny, tiny button. Two piece. I think it's got a back mark on it too. Alright guys, right here. Another button. Alright. A lot of stuff out here. It's a virgin site. So, let's go tell them what I'll find out here. Alright guys, I'm back at it the next morning. But anyway, another that hole, another worked piece of lead. I don't know if those are spindle whorls or not. It's got a hole down the center of it. Alright guys, down in that hole. And you can see the cracks where it's dry out here. But uh looks like a suspender clip. Right here. Oh yeah. Gotta be careful with that, it's in there. Hmm. It's in there pretty good. See how hard this ground is. There we go. Oh yeah, it's a pretty cool one. That. All right. It's got the little back piece on it too. That's cool. Go so down there in that hole. It's like an overall button. Well guys, down in this hole, got a toasty pocket knife. It's deep too. Right here, it's real. 
real dry. This is probably six inches now. I got gun in that hole. Thought it was like a shotgun shell or something, but I got a uh, got a coin. Pretty sure it's a nickel. I don't know what kind though. I can't really see. It's definitely a coin. Yeah. Oh. It's got stars around it. Huh. I have to be careful with that. If you can see those stars around it on this iPhone anyway. But I'm going to put that up. I'll clean up when I get uh, in the house. Now check this out, guys. No idea what that is, but it's pretty neat. Over there, where I left that open, is a uh, is a little piece of a suspender clip. So I wanted to mark that so I can look around for the rest of it. But this is what I found instead. It's pretty interesting. All right, guys, there's something in that clump right there come flying out. And I just do see it right down in there. It's a coin. Let's see what it is. Just a weedy, but I'll take it. Yep, that's a wheat penny. Well, right here on the ground, right on top of the ground. Saddle tack. It's a nice one too. All right, guys, right down there by where the uh, Garrett is. Got um. Well, not the rivet, but I got this suspender clip and that four hole button right down there on top of the ground. It's a good find. Alright guys, down in this hole. I thought it was aluminum at first, but it's not. It's got some kind of design on there. It'd be hard to see on this iPhone. But it's some kind of little decorative plate. Alright. It's a neat find. Alright guys, check out this axe head I found. I actually found this at my brother-in-law's house. It's about the only thing I found in the woods by his house, but it's pretty cool. I'll have to leave it here on the farm. I can't take that on the plane to Charleston. I'll probably have to ship it home the next time I'm here. But uh, anyway, that's a cool find. I like it. I don't know if it's that old or not. That's pretty neat, though. All right, guys, this is going to have to serve, up, serve as part of my wrap-up. I found all kinds of stuff that I just can't take home with me. Horseshoes. Pieces of hinges, pieces of uh, obvious, obviously signs of uh, structure, bunch of pottery, all kinds of different type pottery. There's this big earthware or whatever you want, stoneware crockery pot that's been broken up. Got a ton of it. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm not sure what that is. That might be one of those uh, things that you heat up, put on an iron. I forget what you call them. On those old um, cast iron irons that you put on the pot belly stove or whatever. There's just all kinds of stuff in here, but this is the stuff that I'll have to leave here. I'll show you a wrap up of the uh, of the good stuff. I'll probably do a wrap up video when I get home of it. Hopefully, it'll make it to the airport, and I will see you at that part of the wrap up. All right, guys, I'm back from Wisconsin. Um, had a good week of hunting up there. Hunted several days, and I managed to find a untouched site from the 1800s. Pretty sure it's a house site that predates the farmhouse, and it's from 1895. There were just way too many nails spread out throughout the site, which I, I didn't dig um, the square nails up, just a few of them to see what they were. But I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But these are the keepers um, that I was able to bring back on the plane with no trouble. Some of the stuff I had to leave, I had a ton of pottery. Um, shards ranging from black, black glass to pottery pieces to stoneware. You name it, I was finding it out there on the surface. So um, I can't wait to get back out there when the uh, crops are off the... Uh, off the field but this is what I found and uh, just to kind of go through it real quick I found all these pieces of lead and they're basically the same size the shortest piece these are all the same size same diameter I have no idea what they were used for if there's some kind of weights string weights um, these pieces are smaller and thicker here and then this piece is really rough I'm pretty sure this is a spindle whorl weight just from the way it looks uh, I could be wrong on that 
Got this plate, got just a copper plate, and you can see where the holes it was attached to something, but there's nothing on it. No writing or etching or anything like that. Um, just miscellaneous pieces of metal, just things of note. Got a um, three toe taps. This is the best one here. These three are mangled up. Rivets. Oh, I got two matching suspender clips. This one and this one's all folded up. It's been plowed several times. So this one's just about complete, all except for the little tab that goes on there, which this one still has that little tab on it right there. That's that's what it would look like. And this button was with one of these, so I'm pretty sure that was one of the buttons off of the pair of um, overalls. So got this piece. Some of the stuff I have no idea what it is. Piece of uh, watch gear probably. And pieces of uh, pocket knives. I did get almost a complete pocket knife but I had to leave it there. Hinges. Oh this is pretty neat for the buttons. This is a square button. Which I've never seen a square button before. You can see the back of it where it had the wire shank on the back of it. So, and the uh, real nice finds, the pistol ball is flattened on one side. Got a 1927 Wheat Penny. Got a 1887 Indian Head that's in real good shape. Got a 1886 Liberty Nickel, and that is a key date. That's the second most desirable date of that series of coins. Too bad this one's not in better shape, but yep, key date, so that's pretty cool. And this was real cool. Anytime you can get into the Civil War in Wisconsin, that's pretty cool. This is an 1863 um, store script, and I'll show you a picture. Of it. It's got writing on the back of it. And you can see it. So a lot of stores during the Civil War had to issue their own store script to use as change because money was in short supply. And that's what that is from a store in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. So that's pretty neat. And I was near there. And then this was pretty neat too. This is a piece of silver. When I dug it up I thought it was uh, an aluminum can all balled up. But then I saw all the etching on it or the, the stamped design on it and I started cleaning on it and it's silver. You can see how it shines. So that was pretty neat. So overall a good hunt. Got some silver, got a key date coin, got some good coins here, buttons, a little bit of everything. So it was a good hunt. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next hunt.